For a long time, I've been suffering by the hands of Malakif and others, yo. It's been a grueling, down bad experience. Losing, losing, and losing back to back in this game has been suffering. It's been unfortunate. But after so many long battles from a PlayStation 4's playthrough and PlayStation 5's playthrough, I have finally did it, y'all. I have finally perfected. Let's go! Let's do this! After so much time and power in my will, I finally got this nigga, man. To kill a god, Malakith. To kill your god. I'm tired of this game, my nigga. This is how we do it, yo. Malakith the Black Blade. Diamond Trophy. Y'all have been waiting for this shit. I am taking destined death and I'm doing where the fuck I want with it. Where the fuck this plot proceeds to go and try to adventure. Oh my lord, bro. Oh my god, dog. I finally did it, y'all. Oh. <sighs> I'm putting all the weight when it comes down to the matter of skill, power, striking at a wall, it seems like. I've upgraded my weapons. It don't seem like it do too much dummy gray mouth shit. For y'all, we'll be talking about that in the comments or we'll be thinking that. The rune of death. This is what it's all about. Unbound. And the lands between are shrouded by death's dark fate. But the flames will also burn the impenetrable thorns. You'll be Elden Lord yet. We do this. This is the way it is. Lando Ash and Capital. It's crazy. All this is ash from the fire that went in brimstone in the case of the air tree, the Yggdrasil, the lands between. You got so much, getting a bunch of vast knowledge of what my character more than ever. Did a bunch of shit from Missoula, lying way above the water and the clouds. Seem like an alternate plane of existence, but it's not. On the critical plane of reality, considerably, but still, G, like, that is absolutely fucking madness, be wild things, to say the least. Huh. It took a lot of time mending my skills, looking at different cases of people playing through Elden Ring. Trying to keep myself in the dark as much as possible. Took damn near three years to go and get to this shit. It feels like in total. To actually get back to this place. But in truth, like half in the matter of defeat Malakif. Place looking like a fucking rundown, desecrated Egypt. This place used to be a profound utopia. But now it's just smothered in ash. Destroyed. We killed so many people to get to this. I'm hoping on the end it's actually worth it. Where the fuck do I go? Is this some like this area to go back to? Oh no. Don't tell me this nigga Sir Gideon is gonna be the next boss. I knew I was probably gonna face a boss. But why I had to be this nigga, bro? Yeah, of course you dig stalker.
I didn't use the mimic tear against Malakiv because he wasn't doing shit. He was getting fauterized. Probably ain't gonna do shit against this man, Sir Gideon. Hey, no, stop all that spell casting. Sir Gideon off near the all knowing. And he went to the round table, nigga instantly dick riding. I'm folding him, this nigga, a bitch. I'm running. My battle axe is plus two, by the way, for y'all who are wondering. This nigga throwing destructo discs, bro. This nigga like Doctor Strange with his magic, yo. And if y'all hear somebody in the background talking, that's my mom. He's going off about some private shit. Yeah, I'm most likely not gonna beat this dude. Why are you dick riding me so hard of all times now? Editing a mod here. I was looking around to see what possibly I could do to level up or grow in the lands between. And I went through Godric's castle, and boom, Nefeli's quest, something I've been doing off camera in between, is done. With Nefeli, Kenneth Height on the right, and my man goes up over there. I'm glad to go ahead and finish this quest. I'm glad that something within the lands between Elden Ring as a whole, story-wise, regardless of its main side or some little semblance of importance, holds some considerable weight within a matter of wanting to go and do. The fellow's a cool character. He can't help me against Sir Gideon, as you guys are going to see in between. I can defeat this man, Sir Gideon, but doing this quest and fighting with Nefeli and growing some greater shit has always been enjoyable, but it's another call for help as well, I guess. If you want to help me finish this game finally, defeat Sir Gideon, go beyond my limits of whatever, maybe that would be good for me just to not have to go ahead and delay what it should already been finished. Because I don't know if it's a skill issue thing for me. What's she? What's she? Okay. Man, a little bit sick of you talking to y'all with this being said, got a little bit of a cold, but... To full articulate my point, though, is that I don't know if it's a skill shooting for me, but I feel like I've gotten as leveled up as I could. I've took in the weapons of the different demigods, try to go ahead and get them level. I'm trying to grow my strength, this and this and this. But this stuff can only be grown so much in the manner and the greater grace of possibly making things happen. And it's really not changing for me. So if maybe y'all want to give me some tips how to go into feats or Gideon, or help me yourselves with this being said. That'd be very appreciative. Shout out to my boy Limitless underscore bots saying the truth that I'll be stuck on Malak here for a while because he was not lying, bro. But shout out to him and you know, positive shout out to my boy James who might maybe help me eventually get my places and plus together. But yeah, that's one thing. Hope you guys enjoyed though. I love y'all. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the quest. Love y'all. Fulfill my old promise by raising you to the glory of knighthood. I hope it is just as wonderful as you imagine. Ah, you is it? Haven't seen your mug in quite some time. As you can see, I'm the new lady's attendant. Freedom was worth squat. B besides, I like it round here. Lady Nefeli still fair of heart and countenance. I mean, that's cool to go ahead and know my man fucks with the place regardless of how Godric treated him. Because Godric was the mainland problem of Stormville, not an entire place. I have the lady's trust, so I can loot all the corpses I like. <laughs> this is fucked. I'll let you take a look at the goods if you fancy. Okay. None of true gray again. I mean, ancient dragon smithing stone reinforced armaments to two plus one four. 
it's an interesting thing to possibly have, but it's like, I don't really know how good that will help. Because I know that there's a possibility of actually, like, gearing up more of your armaments and upgrading them. So you could either have a little bit more health or take more damage. But I'm not going to lie, bro. It's so hard to strong form actually get your weapons and armor to the greatest case extent of upgrade or this or that. And I feel like anytime you try to do it, it's all in just loss favor. Because no matter how much you try to grow, bro, the only thing that's really going to push you grand scope forward is going to be with your skill or considerably some luck tie within it. But, I mean, this does seem cool, especially, like, from the fact that it's, you know, an ancient dragon smithing stone. Just the name alone is cool. In conclusion, though, I really love this side quest. I love this throne of Godfrey and his lion double side axe. Heard this man so alive and you could possibly face him and he gonna be a challenge definitely for sure beyond comprehension. But yeah, I love the stone room. I love the throne room being reminiscent of the Elden Lord's throne. With obviously Godfrey being the first, Radagon now being the second, you know, Nefeli full height is, you know, vacant and my man's, you know, rocking with Shorty as second command. Going over to table. Oh, it's yours. So for the young, this shit is charcoal, charcoal, gang. So, Rico. You're here for some spirit tuning. No, not the ones gonna do all that. But since I don't think it would really matter, man. Hugh. Man's brain is dissolved of any case of memory or matter. My man's catching that star scripture dawn. Stasis and nine brain cancer. I mean, possibly all the heat is reminiscent of that. Possible heating, eating from the inside out body effect because this man was cursed to forever. Smith for tarnished here at the round table. And this place is just create a score effect in every sense of the way to a general person's body. Try to see if we can get any like ruins to maybe like strengthen armaments or something. Cause I want to keep a lot of case of these in drip, but yeah. We need to open up the impenetrable thorns. We need to reshape the case of the lands between us. Why does that? <laughs> what is it? Me? Least for the fact that you are free and you won't leave. And I don't know if the round table is actually like a sort of spot in the lands between, but I'm taking it to hypothetical, like alternate plane of dimension. So, like, with this being said, like, he could leave any form and he just simply won't. And that's unfortunate. Like, I know he keeps smithing this sword that I'm not gonna use to slay a god, but. I don't know, man. I mean, at this point, I don't know if I even fucking can. A lot of cool stuff. I don't know if reinforcing on Mr. Plus 25 will actually help eventually. Get those rooms, but I need two mil. Yeah. I feel like gaming one, so maybe I could pick another person, but yeah. This is an unfortunate fact around the table, Robert. You're like, you going to hear about this man here? There, figuratively. That's facts. This is like unfortunate. I like how the characters, when they talk, they have very strong, considerable eye contact and look like very, like, human and formal obviously this is a video game you know the graphics and the feel is reform for ps5 i like i was like i'd like to return the kind i like this look for otorika whatever small way i can so 
experience of getting it and at the case of that kind of table of knowledge and it made no difference dung eater so over there being depressed I don't know if there's anything new from the other buildings. Nope. Well, that's gonna be it for the case of Elden Ring for right now, y'all. If y'all like to go and help me against Sir Gideon, let me know. I would always appreciate it. Let me know if you guys like to see anything more super and duper when it comes down to Elden Ring. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Marmy. Rest in peace to this old lady. Love you.